And kicking off today's video with some unexpected news. CM Punk was backstage for a bit at tonight's Monday Night Raw taping, first reported by PW Insider. The report did not indicate who he was there to visit, but they heard from several WWE sources that he briefly did see Paul Levesque. They added that he met with several other WWE talents, but was eventually asked to exit the arena. PW Insider added that their source said it was a Vince McMahon call to have have CM Punk leave the venue, mostly due to the fact that he is an AEW talent. And CM Punk of course said his goodbyes and immediately left the venue. Fightful Select further reported that numerous wrestlers in WWE believe that the move was a publicity stunt for a return to AEW soon. Also writing that there were several AEW talents in disbelief when they heard that he was backstage at Raw and that WWE talent were shocked that he got backstage even though he's got history in the company. PW Insider is also reporting that although Vince McMahon is not at tonight's episode of Raw in Chicago, he has still made major changes to the show. If a new AEW TV show is happening on Saturdays, it's going to be on TNT, according to Andrew Zarian. Take a look. Zarian tweeted that while TBS has been rumored as the destination, he's being told that TNT will land the new show. The new show in question has been rumored to be called AEW Collision that will air from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern weekly and will feature CM Punk as the central star. While appearing on the latest episode of the Joe Joe Rogan experience, Ric Flair calls Vince McMahon his hero. Ric Flair made the statement after the subject of Vince McMahon's sexual misconduct scandal was brought up. Flair said he judges people by how they treat him and no one in the pro wrestling business has ever treated him with more respect than Vince. Flair said the following, I judge people by how they treat me and he has treated me like I've never had anyone treat me with more respect ever in this business. He's a great guy. I don't care what he does. He's my hero. Wardlow says that wrestling Goldsberg is a dream monster match of his. The TNT champion was interviewed by What Culture at WrestleCon and recently spoke about having interacted with Goldsberg at the convention. Saying, Goldsberg did walk through just a minute ago and we exchanged words. I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but we both mutually agreed that if the opportunity comes, we would love to see who really is next. He continued to list Goldsberg amongst others as all-time great monsters in wrestling. He also named Batista and Brock Lesnar as guys he would put in the same category of dream monster matches. It was reported last month that Goldberg's WWE contract had expired and the 56-year-old is now a free agent. This led to speculation regarding what could be next for the Hall of Famer, including possibly signing with AEW. When asked about Goldberg's free agency recently, AEW president Tony Khan said, It's interesting to hear that he's a free agent, so that's something to follow. He's one of the biggest names in wrestling and certainly will be something else to keep an eye on for us. During a recent radio appearance, Goldberg said that he wants to have a proper retirement match. He noted that he is leaning toward a self-funded four-city tour to end his career. Mercedes Monet and Bushi Road have agreed to an extension on her current New Japan Pro Wrestling contract, according to Dave Meltzer. He did not indicate the length of the extension. However, it has recently been announced by New Japan Pro Wrestling that Mercedes will be in action at Resurgence in Long Beach, California at the Walter Pyramid next month on Sunday, May 21st. In a recent report by Fightful Select, they write that Mercedes Monet is about to be a free agent, that she has no more dates left with stardom at the moment. The two sides are open to doing more business in the future. They also wrote that there was an extension to the deal, but as of now, that only covers the main New Japan show that we just mentioned adding that she has been working on more TV and film projects. A date has been set for Kenny Omega and El Hijo del Vikingo's rematch. AAA announced that El Hijo del Vikingo will be defending his AAA Mega Championship against Kenny Omega at Triple Mania 31 Tijuana. The show is taking place on Saturday, July 15th and will be available live via Fight TV. That's our wrestling news roundup for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to F4W online, and I'll catch you back here on the next episode of The Latest.